Hey there, Andy Cash from The Midday Show, and October's here, which means Halloween's coming up, so all things spooky, and also a new season of The Walking Dead, which got me to thinking, how would I survive the zombie apocalypse? And I think that I'd be able to do it, so I want to share some tips with you, the top five tips on how to survive the zombie apocalypse. Number five, learn how to break into and hotwire a vehicle. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this on a vehicle that is not your own, but uh, you can practice on your own vehicle. Learn how to break into a locked vehicle, hotwire it, so that when you need a car on the go, you can easily do it. Time yourself as well. Number four, stock up on Strike Anywhere matches. You don't want to be dealing with the matches that you have to strike on the strike pad. Get Strike Anywhere matches so that you can do it on a zombie's corpse or the sidewalk or even your own head. It's important to have fire to cook meals, boil water, and who knows what else. Fire is the key when you're surviving the zombie apocalypse. Number three, it's important to get to a place with higher elevations. I don't know why, but I get the feeling that zombies have a tough time climbing uphill. Also, you can easily lead them off of a mountain or cliff face so that you can preserve ammunition and uh, you don't have to worry about wasting energy on killing them. Higher elevations, I recommend somewhere maybe up north or a high mountain somewhere. That brings us to number two. You want to have the proper weaponry. Now, because there's the New York Safe Act, it'll be difficult to get uh, a hold of some really high-powered multiple ammunition weapons. Thank you, Governor Cuomo. But get what you can. Stock up on ammunition because uh, when you get to a big hive of walkers or zombies, it's going to be uh, very helpful to have a weapon that can kill a lot in uh, one foul swoop. But if you can't do that, make sure you get anything you can. Also, swords and knives... If you look at the character Michonne in the Walking Dead series, she is a beast with the sword. So you can learn that yourself and take on some zombies that way. Finally, the essentials, food and water. Now, if you follow step four, that's uh, get the strike anywhere matches. You can boil water anytime, but you want to start off with a good supply of spring water or fresh water of some kind, maybe bottled water. That's important for hydration, obviously. And get some canned goods, soup. SpaghettiOs, always a favorite. Um, even, and you may not like it now, but during the zombie apocalypse, it'll be a nice treat. Maybe some cans of Spam. Who knows? Maybe a great flavor for the zombie apocalypse. So there you go. Obviously, only the strongest will survive the zombie apocalypse. You've got to have that will to live, the will to go on. But if you follow those five steps I just gave you, you'll have a good fighting chance. So make sure, hopefully, uh, the zombie apocalypse will never happen. But make sure if it does, you're prepared. Hey, you never know.